Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is air conditioning. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What does a temperature differential across a filter dryer indicate? A. Normal operation. B. Refrigerant overcharge. C. Restricted filter dryer. D. Refrigerant undercharge. The answer is C. Restricted filter dryer. Explanation. When a system has a restricted filter dryer, it causes a pressure drop across the dryer, thus restricting the flow of refrigerant, and the difference in pressure results in a temperature drop across the dryer at the point of the restriction. Number 2. Which of the following symptoms would be indicative of an oil logged evaporator? A. High liquid line pressure and low discharge line pressure. B. High superheat. C. High discharge line pressure and low liquid line pressure. D. Reduce heat transfer through the walls of the coil. The answer is D. Reduce heat transfer through the walls of the coil. Explanation. When oil coats the walls of the evaporator coil it will act as an insulator, thus reducing heat transfer. This condition could cause liquid flooding back to the compressor. It will also rob the compressor of oil needed for proper operation. The causes of oil logged evaporators are too much oil, improper piping practices and liquid migration to the compressor during off-cycle. Number 3. What is true about the sensor probe when using an electronic leak detector? A. It must be moved around suspected areas as fast as possible. B. It must be exposed to a large amount of refrigerant for calibration. C. It should be moved at approximately 1 inch per second. D. It is not affected by dirt or oil. The answer is C. It should be moved at approximately 1 inch per second. Explanation. Moving the probe any faster than the recommended speed of 1 inch per second may result in leaks not being detected. Number 4. What happens before a vapor or compression system is opened for service? A. The refrigerant must be released to the atmosphere. B. The refrigerant must be recovered using approved equipment. C. The refrigerant may be vented only if it is a HCFC. D. The refrigerant may be vented only if it is an HFC. The answer is B. The refrigerant must be recovered using approved equipment. Explanation. Refrigerant must be recovered with approved equipment, according to EPA Section 608. Failure to recover could result in loss of certification, fines and having to appear in federal court. Number 5. What is the minimum vertical drop from the outlet of the condensate drain pan to the inlet of the peat trap when the evaporator is ahead of the blower? A. 3 inches. B. 5 inches. C. 7 inches. D. 9 inches. The answer is A. 3 inches. Explanation. The water level in the trap must be low enough that a pressure higher than the static pressure of the air handler would be required to make it flow back into the drain pan. The higher the air handle static pressure, the more vertical drop is required. Number 6. The temperature rise method of determining air volume 100.fm is not used with which of the following? A. A gas-fired furnace. B. An oil-fired furnace. C. An electric resistive heat air handler. D. A condensing oil-fired boiler. The correct answer is D. A condensing oil-fired boiler. Explanation. The two output along with the temperature difference across the furnace can easily be calculated and applied to the sensible heat formula. CFM equals 2 divided by 1.08 times the temperature difference. Number 7. What type of compressor do ductless heating or cooling systems use to make the system output match varying cooling or heating demand? A. Direct drive compressors. B. Belt drive compressors. C. Converter driven compressors. D. Reverse driven compressors. The answer is C. Converter driven compressors. Explanation. 
Inverter-driven compressors operate at varying speed by changing the AC voltage and frequency. Number 8. How do inverters used for air conditioning control the compressor's speed? A. Pulsing the on and off time of the applied AC voltage to the motor. B. Pulsing the on and off time of the applied DC voltage to the motor. C. Varying the AC frequency to a low power state. D. Using multiple seed taps connected to the run winding. The answer is B. Pulsing the on and off time of the applied DC voltage to the motor. Explanation. An inverter changing the voltage from AC to DC, then pulses the on and off time of the applied DC voltage to the motor from 0 to approximately 120 cycles. Number 9. What are the two wired digital electronic thermostats called? A. Data communicating type thermostats. B. DC wired thermostats. C. Two-wire multifunctional control thermostats. D. Internet Wi-Fi thermostats. The answer is A. Data communicating type thermostats. Explanation. Some digital electronic thermostats can use a shielded two-conductor cable with a one positive and one negative connection between the indoor and out sections of a split system. Number 10. What are digital electronic controls referred to as? A. Digital electronic controls, DEC. B. DC wired thermostat, DCT. C. Data communicating controls, DCC. D. Direct digital controls, DDC. The answer is D. Direct digital controls, DDC. Explanation. Two wire data communicating controls are called direct digital controls. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.